Having so many frameworks and libraries to choose from in the front end is overwhelming for developers. Right, I know it was for me back in the days when Ruby on Rails, Django, and Angular were dominating the space. If you are at the stage when you need to decide carefully what framework to learn so you can get a front end or full stack job, this is the video you need. This is my guide to making a future proof decision. This is my guide to choosing your first front end framework. Hey friends, I'm Stevan and I've been working as a software engineer in the EU and the UK now for more than five years. I happen to have been in your position in the past and that's why I'm here to help you land your first developer job. Okay, so lately I've been thinking about what front end framework I would choose to learn if I had to start my development career all over. And I thought it would be a great idea to assess the most popular frameworks and libraries nowadays. Obviously now after picking so many technologies, for sure I have a better judgment than at the start of my career. And that's the idea, right? So you don't have to make the same mistakes I made. Anyway, the most important aspects for me when picking a framework are a framework easy to learn, a framework that maximizes my chances of getting a job, and a framework that would be future-proof. So what I learned now will still be pretty relevant in a few years. So for this, I've decided to pick Angular, React, and Vue and assess them to the following criteria. Their learning curve, adoption and community support, documentation, quantity of jobs, and ecosystem. And as everybody loves star scoring system, if not as the trust pilot fox, let's go with this. Just a little disclaimer before I go on. I will refer to all of these as frameworks, even though React is a library, just to make my life easier. The learning curve is, of course, one of the most important aspects to take into consideration when picking a framework, especially as a beginner, as it can take some time to grasp it. Angular in this regard is difficult to learn as it is opinionated and because it forces you to use TypeScript, leading you to learn one more programming language after JavaScript. In my experience, I found it very confusing when I was first learning it. React, on the other hand, is considered to have a gentle learning curve. It is very flexible, allowing you to create applications practically the way you want. Of course, React is a library, so it doesn't force you to follow a certain pattern, which sometimes can be a drawback as it could lead to confusion. But in general, React, in my opinion, is easier to learn as you can choose to use JavaScript from the beginning. Vue is a framework and is also considered to have a gentle learning curve. Actually, a lot of people claim it to be the best of both worlds between Angular and React. With Vue, you can also start coding with JavaScript, so it's soften a bit the learning burden. So, in my opinion, for this section, React and Vue are tight as both are considered relatively easy to learn and let you use JavaScript. So, they both get a start. Hey guys, I would truly appreciate appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying it. You know, this helps the YouTube algorithm and all that stuff. Adoption and community support are super important because they can help you in your learning process and this is precisely because while there is more information out there of a framework, the greater your chances are to learn more about their edge cases. One of the things I appreciate the most about this aspect is the quantity of information I can find on the internet to troubleshoot a certain piece of code. So imagine you are creating a React app and after you made some changes to the code, you realize your app is rendering twice for no apparent reason. Then you go and Google React app rendering twice and you'll find this Stack Overflow article where someone ran into the same issue and got it solved before you. This is of course one of the things you'll think along the lines that you chose to learn a well-adopted and mature framework. Honestly, all these three frameworks have a vibrant community and are well-adopted. Angular is a very mature framework and is the oldest between React and Vue, meaning that you'll find a lot of information around it. So that's blog articles, courses, forums, Etc. Angular is backed and was developed by Google. Obviously, Angular has immense support and many companies have adopted this, meaning that this framework is not going anywhere in the near future. Some popular companies that use Angular apart from Google are Microsoft, IBM, Dell, Upwork, and many others. In the StageJS survey 2022, Angular was the second front-end framework most used by developers and ran 48.8% out of 100%. Then, in the Stack Overflow survey 2023, on the other hand, Angular ranked as the fourth most used web framework and technology. So, taking into account the frameworks we are assessing on this video, Angular is still the second most used in this survey, clearly making this framework a great choice for anybody. Now, moving to React. React, as the second oldest in the list, is actually one of the libraries most adopted by companies and most learned by developers, which means that have incredible community support, as with Angular, 
popular, you can find a lot of blog articles, videos, courses, forums, etc. React is backed and was developed by Meta. React keeps getting love and some great frameworks as Remix and Next.js were built on top of it. Some popular companies that use React apart from Meta are Instagram, Netflix, Airbnb, and many others. In the Stage.js survey 2022, React was the first front-end framework most used by developers and ranked 81.8% out of 100. Then, a year later, in the Stack Overflow survey 2023, React also ranked as the first most used web framework and technology. So I don't have to say that this framework is a great choice as well. Vue, being a younger framework, still has a large community and although it wasn't built by some of these gigantic companies, it has been adopted by some popular companies like Alibaba, Xiaomi, GitLab, and many others. In the Stage.js survey 2022, Vue was the third front-end framework most used by developers and ran 46.2% out of 100, so very close to Angular. Then in the Stack Overflow survey 2023, on the other hand, Vue ranked as the seventh most used web framework and technology. So taking into account the frameworks we are assessing in this video, Vue is still the third most used framework in this survey. So still a great choice. For this section, although these three frameworks are well adopted and have a big community, it is fair to only award this star to React. Okay, official documentation is a pretty important point as well, and ideally it should be your first point of reference if you want to learn how to use the framework. In terms of documentation, honestly, they are all great. Angular, React, and Vue have amazing documentation featuring tutorials, best practices, community links, and of course their API references. Honestly, for for me, it has been pretty easy to understand their documentation and follow their tutorials, so you are good at choosing any of this. For this section, again, there's a draw all Angular, React, and Vue get a start. All right, the number of jobs available. If I were you, choosing my first front-end framework, this criteria would be the most important. This is if your livelihood will depend on having a software developer job. All of these frameworks, in theory, can help you achieve pretty much the same stuff. Then, there will be some technical aspects that may convince you to pick one over the other. But if you need to learn a framework to get a job, then pay attention to this section. Angular has been on the market for quite a long time, so for sure you'll find jobs. But let's make a quick Indeed and LinkedIn search on the UK only. You can do it in your country of residence to see what framework pops up as the technology most demanded. So in Indeed, I found 600 plus jobs. On LinkedIn, I found close to 2K jobs. Moving on to React, as a lot of you may already know, React is super popular and everybody talks about it for a reason. In Indeed, I found 1K plus jobs. On LinkedIn, I found 5K plus jobs. View as the baby and very promising framework, it is still not as adapted as many developers would like to. And unfortunately, the quantity of jobs reflects it. In Indeed, I found 200 plus jobs. On LinkedIn, I found 50 jobs only. In this section, there's a clear winner and by far, that's React. So it gets another very well-deserved start. Let's talk about Ecosystem Brief. The ecosystem here refers to all those existing libraries or third-party integrations you can use along the framework. In my experience, all these frameworks are very well supported and you can find enough integrations for all of them. Just thinking about popular libraries from the top of my head that are essential for many businesses or for your development experience, we have Storybook, Sentry, Stripe, AWS, Amplify, and Testing Library. Most of these libraries support Angular, React, and Vue, so you can have peace of mind when building your app that your development will be easier. In my opinion, there's a draw here as well, and all of them get a start. All in all, all of these frameworks are great. As we have seen, they all share more or less the same qualities. But in this case, React is the clear winner, mostly due to how how beginner friendly it is and the number of job offers available in the market, making it a great choice for anybody learning front-end development. And not only that, making it future-proof so you can be safe to know that all your time investment will not be lost after a couple of years. Learning well any of these frameworks and their ecosystem takes years. So I recommend you pick one of these and make it your primary framework instead of learning just a bit of all of them. As you have seen, this guy didn't intend to discuss all the technical details of why you should choose one framework over the other, but to help you have an educated understanding of how to choose your primary framework. So I hope you have made up your mind now. Leave in the comments what framework you'll go for and why. See you at the next one, folks. Ciao, ciao.